When you sit by your brother, how do you feel? Good. He feels good. Why do you feel good? Because I love you. How do you know he loves you? Um, because I always play with you. You always play with me. Are you proud of the bond that your two boys have? I'm so proud of them. I am so proud of Leo and Brady, and they're the best, best little brothers. Um, and yeah, I couldn't couldn't ask for a better pair of sons. Is there anything special about Leo? Poopy butt. Okay, Brady, let's butt. think of something else to say. <laughs> he has gotten to be very goofy recently. He and his brother like to be very goofy together. And they really feed off of each other. He like It's a gift to be Brady's mom. Yeah. It's an amazing gift to be Brady's mom. If you had one wish, what would it be? Um, for Brady's disease to get to get better. Do you think about that a lot? How often do you pray for a cure? Um, every day. Constantly. Constantly, all day, every day. Can't even imagine what that would be like. What's it like to see your brother living with EB? Um, it feels a little um hopeless and um hope that it's gonna get he's gonna get cured. <laughs> How much of a typical day is spent managing his symptoms? Beep, beep. Oh. Beep. oh my gosh. Um, at least six to eight hours. Are you a happy person or a sad person? What makes you happy? Uh, playing. Do you just want to play? Yeah. Do you want to do anything else? No. Do you want to be like your older brother? Yeah. Why? Because I want to. No, Brady, Brady, because I want a free rock and soccer game. You want to rock and rock and He, I want every rock and suck and robot game. Rock and suck and robots. Do you want to win every rock and sock and robots game? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm always going to be older than him because I was born before him. How would you describe EB to somebody who has no clue what it is? Uh, well, when people, we meet for people for the first time and I tell them, you know, Brady has a genetic skin disease that makes his skin incredibly fragile. He's uh, missing a protein that holds his layers of skin together. And so just by picking him up or touching him too hard, um, he gets blisters all over his body, just like you and I would get blisters on our feet if we wore a bad pair of shoes for too long. When Brady was born, he had no skin on his feet. We didn't know anything until that moment. Out he came with no skin on his feet. So that was the giveaway. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Brady, if you want to hold this so you're not rubbing your little leg, you want to maybe hold that, okay? Does he itch himself a lot? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of an anxious thing, I think. And is your is your foot a little ache? Is your foot hurting a little bit? Yeah. Okay. What do you think about when you're talking for a few minutes, playing with your, playing with Goofy? Okay. Okay. Play with Goofy, and I'll give you a tap tap. Okay, little toe, and I'll kiss it. Okay. This disease is just brutal in the sense that he could wake up fine in the morning and. Two minutes later, he and his brother are playing and brother steps on his hand and it just rips skin off. And that means the next few hours are full of uh, wound care when we were gonna go to lunch as a family or something. 
What do you think you and your brother will be like when you're older? Um, be a boy. Oh, boy. a boy. A boy. I'll answer this question for you. Okay. Um, will be like um a conductor that drives a train and an engineer that drives a train. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're gonna drive a steam locomotive. Are you able to watch Brady and Leo play and enjoy it without worrying if Brady's gonna get hurt? That's a really good question. I've gotten to the point where it's just worth it to me to have them be able to do that and it's worth it to them. And Brady is so aware of his body that when he goes into a silly play fight, being lions or whatever they're doing, I just sort of stand by knowing that there will probably be a, a wound to cover afterwards. <laughs> um, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. They have so much fun. <laughs> Do you guys play like this a lot? Yeah! I remember only once when he asked me, will Brady have this forever? And that was really hard for me. Or when will Brady stop needing bandages, is what he said. And I said, I don't know. If somebody wants to be Brady's friend, what should they do? Um, help me. <laughs> They need to come up to Brady yeah. and say, hey Brady, will you come play with us? Yeah. We're gonna be very gentle. And we see you have some gentle skin that has boo-boos on it. And we'll be gentle, but we still wanna play with you, right? Yeah. Do you like people to know that you'd like to play with them too? Yeah. I have a question for you. Mm. Do you love to play? Yeah. Will you play with me? Yeah. Will you be my friend? Yeah. Do you like making friends? Yeah. Do you like playing? Yeah. Do you like having dance parties? Yeah. Do you want to have a dance and play party with me? Yeah. How do you balance his fragile body, but also treating him like the kid he is? You know, we, it's 90% being a kid. And then the other 10% is just making sure we are as safe and as comfortable as possible. Look. He does a pull up the pop. I won't go pop. We're, we're going to go up? No, this. This. Do you want me to see if I can put it up? Yeah. No, okay. I'm not sure if it does that, but we can definitely test it. It does that. Oh, it does that. Ooh, it does. Like that? Yeah. Is that what you wanted it to do? Yeah. Everything takes longer, but well, it's I worth it. My, by myself. You're so cool, Brady. I I gave by myself. I love that. We go, be go. Put the thing on too. You want me to turn it on? How do I turn it on? Um, right here. Watch, watch, watch. See? Whoa! It lights up. How do you feel when you're playing with your brother? Uh, good. Why do you think he feels good, Leo? Uh, um, because he loves me. I love you. Um, because he loves me. I love you. Does he tell you all the time? Yes. I love you. Asked him what it felt like when people look at his brother and look at his boo-boos. And he said, it makes me happy. And I said, you mean when they ask about Brady's boo-boos it makes you happy? He said, yeah. And he said, because Brady's the bravest kid I've ever met. And that really meant a lot to me. To know that his I want, brother I want them to didn't make him sad to think about Brady. It made him happy I want them proud. Know, mommy. Now, mm -hmm. I have a question. A serious question. Are you ready for a serious question? Yeah! Put, yeah. put on your serious face, boys. Yeah. And here, here's my serious question. Will you two always love each other? Yes. How do you know? Because we play a lot together. Play a lot together. Is there anything else you want the world to know about your son? Uh, I want everyone to know that Brady's just a normal kid. And, um, you know, if you see him or anyone else that, you know, 
doesn't look like you, doesn't act like you, doesn't sound like you, to just, you know, just come say hi. I'm happy we're friends. Yeah. <sighs> nice exploding noise. If after watching this video you feel inspired to help Brady and others like him, I put the link to the EB Research Partnership, which is currently funding research to find a cure for EB, so kids like Brady can focus on playing and being a kid. Thank you.